Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to begin by thanking the Ethiopian Presidency and the Russian Federation for supporting the inclusion of this topic on the Council's agenda and for inviting CETED to address the Council. On behalf of CETED, I wish to congratulate Under Secretary General Voronkov on his appointment as head of the OCT. CETED looks forward to strengthening its partnership with him and his office. Mr. President, 16 years have passed since the adoption of Resolution 1373, and terrorism today still affects all of us. No single country can claim to be invulnerable to it. As you are aware, since its establishment, CETED has been tasked with providing the CTC with neutral and independent expert assessments of member states' implementation of that resolution and subsequent resolutions on counterterrorism. And one of the principal tools used by it is the country visit, a highly collaborative process that involves experts from many partner organizations. The visits are designed to help member states develop an effective roadmap while also avoiding duplication of efforts. Our assessments bring to the CTC and all our partners in New York and in the field the most updated assessment of member states' counterterrorism situation. They also serve as a practical way to discuss current trends with national experts and to advise member states on developing and implementing national counterterrorism strategies. Since the beginning of this year, CITED has visited 16 states. The full list is on uh, my uh, written remarks, which will be shared after this meeting. Seven further visits are scheduled for the remainder of this year, more than any other equivalent period since the committee's creation. CITED has now conducted 133 visits covering 96 states, including 45 vis visits since its previous review. Much has been accomplished through this process. New national and regional laws have been enacted, new institutions established, and capacities strengthened. This progress reflects not only the impact of Resolution 1373, but also the determined efforts of member states to comply with their obligations. And yet, Many states still do not have all counterterrorism measures in place. Many CTC recommendations still await action. As you are aware, the recommendations are usually divided into two categories, those that require technical assistance and those that do not. Over the years, many of our partners have delivered technical assistance on the basis of the committee's recommendations and integrated the recommendations into their work programs. However, the committee recommendations could be acted upon much more rapidly and much more widely. The establishment of the OCT with a strong mandate on PVE and capacity building provides an opportunity to strengthen even further the links and shorten the time period between our assessments and the delivery of assistance. We look forward to discussing ways to strengthen those links with Under Secretary General Voronkov and his office. But let's not be mistaken, as much as we invest in capacity building, we should avoid any perception that technical assistance is a precondition for implementing binding Security Council resolutions. The Council may wish to consider ways to encourage states to implement CTC recommendations, especially in cases where technical assistance is not the reason for the lack of implementation or when states are visited more than once. Mr. President, these are not regular times. The Council has adopted six new resolutions on terrorism in a short period of time, an unprecedented, unprecedented achievement and show of consensus. CEDAD has contributed to their elaboration. One notable example is CETED's development of the comprehensive framework on counter-narratives, which served as a foundation for Resolution 2354. CITED, relying on its thematic expertise and guided by Resolution 2129, will continue to advise the CTC on the implementation of these resolutions. CITED will also promote them. It will also continue to integrate them into its work streams and identify challenges as well as practical ways to overcome them. In this regard, I would note that CITED, that CITED recently updated its technical guide. The guide serves to strengthen and deepen CTC assessments and help member states prepare for them. It contains the most updated advice on practical ways to implement all the new resolutions. It is now available for download in English on the CTC website. The new resolutions also require CETA to prepare analytical reports on a wide variety of areas 
that require new and constantly developed expertise. New areas for CTED include FTFs, the use, of, the use of digital evidence and battlefield evidence, new border control measures, including API and biometrics, the use of internet by terrorists, the role of women, and human rights aspect of all these issues. All UN bodies can benefit from CTED assessment and analysis. Let me stress that most CTED work products, including in particular its thematic and regional analysis, are not confidential as demonstrated in the multiple open briefings we held, including meetings held on Iraq, CITED can share and does share its work. Since its last review, CITED is also mandated to identify emerging issues, trends, and development related to its resolution. Our cooperation with the monitoring team and the joint drafting of five Secretary General reports required under Resolution 2253, as well as periodical exchanges between the two expert bodies, allowed us to gain valuable analysis of the threat and member states' responses and to enrich our work on identifying trends and developments. It also allows us to better understand the challenges member states face. We are thankful to the monitoring team and to the committee for their cooperation with us. CITED continuously strengthened its capacity to identify trends and developments also through its global research network. Together, CITED is able to provide the CTC with research-based policy advice on a range of issues, from prosecution, rehabilitation, and reintegration of returnees and protection of critical infrastructure to the effectiveness of counter-messaging. CITES also takes great, great care to ensure that identified trends and developments and the threat assessments provided by the monitoring team is to are thoroughly and consistently integrated into its assessment. I should note that also seated analysis of trends and developments is free of confidentiality requirements. We need to explore ways together to ensure that the entire UN system benefits from seated analysis. It is probably the most updated and comprehensive evidence-based analysis in the UN system on counterterrorism capacity, challenges, trends, and development. Mr. President, over the last 12 months, CITED has organized four open briefings and four special meetings. This meeting serves at least three important purposes. Firstly, they bring transparency to the committee's work. On numerous occasions, member states, notably states not serving on the council, have thanked us for these meetings and expressed a strong, strong wish that they be continued. Secondly, they enable the CTC to forge new partnerships with IROs, civil society, and even with private sector actors. The meeting held yesterday on aviation security is one example of such partnership. The establishment of the Global Internet Forum by the four major uh, companies and its partnership with CTC is another. Lastly, this meeting play an important role in policy formulation. Security Council Resolution 2370 on small arms light weapons is a good example of the effectiveness of this practice and its role in supporting policy formulation both at the CTC and at the Council. CITED remains committed to our contribution by assessing, by assessing member states' implementation, facilitating technical assistance, identifying trends and good practices, advising and promoting the policy of the Committee and the Council. However, these tasks are also stretching our capacity and resources to the maximum. It is therefore CITED's hope that the Council will provide it with the resources required to fulfill its significantly expanded mission. The incoming CITED Executive Director, Ms. Michelle Connings, intends to submit a report to the CTC, setting out CITED's vision on how the CTC and the Council and the entire UN can maximize CITED impact and benefit from its work. The debate today serves an, an Im important function and will guide us in drafting this report. Mr. President, together we have achieved a great deal since the adoption of Resolution 1373. However, the threat continue to, continues to evolve at an alarming pace. Terrorist organizations continue to demonstrate flexibility and the capacity to quickly adapt their methods. They are also particularly adept at exploiting new technologies and the internet, whether to spread their messages, recruit new members, finance, plan, or perpetrate attacks. More than ever before, the committee needs a dynamic, agile, and responsive body of experts to support and promote its work. 
CITES will continue to do its utmost to fulfill that role and is honored to serve this cause. Thank you. I thank you.